so let's start you know sink your teeth into, into the this very first into the cake. menu yeah. the, 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 okay cake yeah, you want cake. to eat cake yes cake. okay so nigeria is on the march to our six general elections after returning to democracy in 1999, it's no longer news that Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has scheduled the 2019 presidential and national assembly elections for Saturday, 16 February. That's like less than a year now, mm, yeah, because year. We are, we, today is 17th, and um, we'll be looking, all, of course, into the governorship and the state assembly and federal capital territory council elections that have been scheduled for Saturday, 2nd March 2019. Aside from the umpire and politicians gearing up for the elections, another important stakeholder is the voter. The question is, how motivated is the Nigerian voter to get his or her voter's card ready and then go out to perform this crucial civic duty on the election day? We have our guest um, here in the studio and of course our Abuja studio. Let me start from our Abuja studio. We have the chairman partners for electoral reform is in Wangwagu and a public affairs commentator Aldo Siyaka. Thank you for joining us. And here in Lagos we have the Southwest Coordinator Transition Monitoring Group, Sulaiman Arigbabu. Good morning and thank you. Good to have you. Thank you. So Same here. Let me let me start with you here. That question, how motivated is the Nigerian voter ahead of this twenty nineteen elections? <clears throat> thank you. Um the Nigerian citizen is uh, not very motivated. Um the most we can just do is to appeal that people find the strength from within to do the needful if we really desire to take charge of our lives. Uh, but when you look at the polity and when you look at the arrangement, um, there's not much motivation. One, there is apathy on the part of uh, citizens because when this, we, we, we give a lot of promises about democracy, which don't really, really doesn't translate to be so. Aside from that, the, the problems, the rigors of going through doing your civic responsibility uh, for instance, getting your voter's card and all of that. And, do, and the fact that you do this, sometimes you take, you go out of your way to get yourself to do the right thing. And maybe a system doesn't work or the processes doesn't work properly. And then, you know, everything you have done comes to naught. So there's poor motivation. There's poor within the environment, within the way things are done to motivate the citizens. But notwithstanding, as citizens of this country, as, as, as true born, as they will say, we need to find that strength from within to ensure that we get things done um, irrespective of the challenges uh, thrown in our ways. Okay, let me take that same question to our guest in Abuja. How would you say the citizens are, when it comes to these elections, would you say they are motivated and good to go? The two of you will weigh into this. You want to take? Okay, um, thank you. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's just okay to say that um, liberal democracy generally across the globe is, is gasping for breath. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be the situation with us. Uh, whereas it is true that our people are, are losing confidence in political leadership. But they are showing a lot more. There is even there is some sort of outbreak of excitement uh, for voting, for uh, voter registration. Why do I say that? Uh, the, a lot of people believe that voting will change their lives in a significant manner. And if you see the the rush, if you see the push to get the uh, PVC. Uh, this time around, you will notice that that excitement is, is on the high. Uh, whether that essentially will translate to uh, voting will be another thing, because uh, all you need to do is just to take a look at the 2015, uh, you had about 68 million Nigerians who were, in the, who were prospective voters, who were in the voter register, but just about 29 million eventually voted as we speak now about 12 million cards are still uncollected 
from the 2015 uh, registration that, that is lying uncollected in INEC. So yes, the enthusiasm is very high for PVC now, but we just hope that we are able to translate that into the actual uh, uh, engagement of voting. And like I said, okay. across board, a lot of people if, are feeling well. So well, if I may come in here, we would have to hang on at that point, take a moment and come back so that Mr. Siaka can also weigh into this question of enthusiasm on the part of the voter. We'll be back shortly. Please don't go away. Welcome back. Mr. Siaka, the question is again yours to answer about the, what your thoughts are as regards the enthusiasm amongst the voters vis-a-vis -vis that report you just watched. Uh, good morning. Thank you very much for this uh, question. Uh, voters' participation in Nigeria has been a very serious heart throbbing to me because of uh, the low turnout we have been experiencing over the years. And uh, it's not even far away from the kind of uh, system we run in this country. Ordinarily, when we're talking about voters' participation, it's for people to see a candidate of a particular party has the comment and educate the public, sell him or herself to the public. If you have what they have in stock, at least people will be able to come. I mean, if you convince people, people will be able to uh, vote for him or her. But uh, today, we are still very much in darkness. If I look at, uh, we have a Ministry of uh, Information, we have a national orientation agency still under Ministry of Information. We have INEC. So one cannot easily say who's in charge to educate the populace about uh, uh, voters' participation. You can see now that today we don't have power in the country. People in the villages, some of them have gone to the farm. Even if they have power or they have television, based as, as the economy is very, very tough, they have to go and look for their livelihood. That, again, is part of the uh, contributing factor that have been giving us a headache in this country. So I don't, when I look at it, I always sometimes get confused that 21st century, we're talking about uh, voters' uh, participation. We have roughly uh, 180 million as people do canvas. Let's assume uh, 80 million are under age and maybe elderly ones that cannot even go out to vote. What of the 100 million, what are we doing? It's just like what my partner has just said, that if you look at 2015 general election, 29 million, of course, voted for the two presidents, uh, containing presidents. That's uh, President Gulla Jonathan and uh, President Mohamed Buhari. I think roughly 13 million was what was given to Buhari to make him uh, 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 that won the, the election, which is not encouraging. It's not encouraging. I'm talking 100 million. They will have 29 million. As we have said today, I've been watching INEC. They said roughly 78 million have been, the, what they have in their voter register, uh, register today. But how are we sure that during the uh, election proper, this particular number will come out and uh, exercise their civic duty? Thank you. Okay, um, 